So this next one is directly from the AWS uh, news blog, I think. Uh, it says, yes. heads up, Amazon S3 security changes are coming in April of 2023. So it looks like the, the change that's happening is that once changes are in effect, I guess, for target region, all newly created buckets are going to have S3 block public access and access enabled by default and access control list disabled as well. But it also says that S3 buckets and objects have always been private by default. So what exactly is the big switch here? All right. So if you've been listening to Technado for a while or if you've been just watching IT news in general, you can't help but avoid the stories about companies leaking data due to improperly secured S3 buckets. It happens all the time. It happens to government agencies, contractors, large enterprises, school systems. They throw Guy's some data. name Don. <laughs> it hasn't happened to me yet. Um, but you throw some data in an S3 bucket, and your S3 bucket might have a random name or a unique name you pick, and you say, you know what? I just need to access this real quick. Nobody knows the bucket's there. So I'm just going to flag it for public access. It open, open wide. Anybody can access this bucket. Nobody knows it's there, so it'll be safe. And then I can go and access it really easy. Well, it turns out people are scanning for these buckets and, and they will find them and whatever data you've got in there, they'll pull out. And this has happened in some really embarrassing cases where there was medical records. You had um, uh, therapy notes. You had... Uh, government applications, fingerprint databases, all sorts of crazy stuff is leaked out due to improperly configured buckets. So Amazon has been saying for years that they were going to change things. Uh, one of the first things they changed was they made it where buckets weren't public by default, right. but you were literally like a radio button away from making it public. It was just super easy. You just check a box and uh, or a little radio button, and yeah. that was that. Uh, so now they're putting in some slightly more aggressive changes. Now, this is not going to affect buckets that are already deployed. This is just new buckets. So if you work with AWS, some of your workflows may need to be updated as a result. But buckets will be private by default, like Sophie said. that That's already done. But they've changed it so that bucket-level policies. So you can create policies to define who has access to the bucket. And they want you to do it with IAM, their identity and access management. That's where they want you to write it. But in the past, you could do it in either place, on the bucket itself or in IAM. They're turning off the entire bucket policy system altogether. They're turning it off. So you'd have to turn on that policy system before you could write a bad policy to open it up. So they're, they're basically steering everyone over to IAM where they should be in the first place to write their policies. And that's probably the biggest change here to be aware of. If you've got some kind of automated deployment for S3 buckets, and it's expecting to have a bucket level policy, that's going to break on, uh, what was the date? Sophie, did you catch the date? It was sometime. Uh, it's a I think it's going to be April 2023 that this that this starts to roll out. Okay, two um, months from now. Yeah. Yep. So in, in two months, those workflows will break. So now's the time to think about it. Like, how do I rewrite that workflow to make sure it creates a bucket and instead of a bucket policy, creates an IAM policy like it's supposed to? Yeah, that's where like the AWS permissions get really tricky is that you can set them in IAM, you can set them on the object, you can you can set them all over the place and it goes with the least permissive, right? Like, or the most you know, permissive. It most doesn't. Permissive. No. It doesn't? No. Oh, no, no, no. This is the tricky part, right? Because right. you, you think about like file permissions. Yeah. Windows. Windows, you have um, the right. like share permissions. Right. And then you have the file permissions. And, and those, it's least permissive, just like right, you right. said. AWS, it's not. It's not. So I could have an outright deny all in my IAM policy. Right. But if it allows me on the bucket policy, then you're allowed. I'm that's allowed. what that's what I meant to say. And if you flip it around, the other way works too. If yeah. I'm outright denied on the bucket and I'm permitted, like it goes with the most permissive. Yeah. yeah that, that's what I meant to say. Not oh, okay. least permissive, most per right. It just goes, hey, I see that you have permission to do this somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so that must mean you have permission to do this. Yeah. Go ahead. And and the best uh best practice, best it's not the right word. See, it's not easy, best, is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the recommended best practice, whatever the yeah. right phrase for that is, uh, has always been like, don't use the bucket policies. Yeah. You use IAM policies, but the, the bucket policies have been there. You, you've been able to use them, and so now they're trying to force people over. Uh, you can still turn the bucket policies on, but you actively have to do that. So you really have to be willing to break security on this stuff. Yeah, you're going to be like, I want the world to know that this is here. And people will still do it. They do. Yeah. They do love it. You know why? Because permissions stop you from doing stuff, Don. <laughs> I don't have time for I'm that. sick and tired of this not working. Just turn all this safety crap off. Oh, yeah, we're living without seatbelts now. World's fun you know, time. <laughs> I, I think that's how it happens a lot of times. Like, they're, they're troubleshooting. It. Something doesn't yep. work. Like, you know what? Let me just turn this off for right. a second. And everything, everything's work, <laughs> right? And they forget, oh, I... I, I 
took all the you know brakes and stuff off of this thing. Yep. And then it's working. No one's complaining. Off we go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you yeah. Were yeah. About this hill like looks the, steep. The approach of like, well, I'm just going to set this to you know public access because nobody knows it's here. Nobody's going to find it. But like websites like Greyhound Warfare, it's literally set up to yeah. look at all of the open buckets that are available and. I'll go in and be yeah. like, I wonder what's there. What's and it's crazy. This the yeah. stuff that people just leave like out in the open for people to access, probably not intentionally, but I'm like, oh, that's, they just have all their passwords in one document and it's just there. And yep. it's probably not anything that, I mean, I'd hope it's not something that like a threat actor is going to find or somebody's going to yeah. take advantage of, but it's like, wow, okay. I'm going to be real careful if I ever start to get into like using these Amazon web services and for my own stuff. What's this NVIDIA bucket? <laughs> <laughs> you know, does, does Shodan index S3 buckets? Does it index S3 buckets? Or do you know a tool that would let you scan for these? Shodan might do that because it indexes internet-connected devices, right? So it's looking for anything with a, a public IP. And then it kind of, like, writes that stuff down. Whether or not it tells you that that's S3 or not, I couldn't I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. All right. Um, there. So, like, Sophia mentioned Grey Hat Warfare. That tool's job is to index every S3 bucket it can find. Okay, so that would be the way to go. And, and I yes. think it does Azure bubbles, yeah. too. Like, it's not just S3. Yeah, yeah. They, they've kind of branched out a bit. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah, and in fact, I so I, I Googled, and uh, Gray Hat was like the third yeah. response, but I clicked on the first one, and it's somebody <laughs> linking to Gray Hat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, apparently that's the one. So, yeah, if you can scan and find it, then... Right. So it's already... It's nice to use Grey Hat Warfare because it's already indexed. It doesn't have to do all the searching. It's already done the searching. It just now looks at this database and goes, oh, you're looking for, you know, IT Pro TV. Cool. There's the S3 buckets I've found that are associated with IT Pro TV. Yeah, so we, we actually do have a bucket that's open yeah. to the public, uh, but it's graphic assets for yeah, the website. Yeah, two, I think. Uh, do we have two? I've, I found two, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, like show notes or something. Yeah, but it, show notes we and intend the graphics, to be public. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like employee personnel records. <laughs> <laughs> we we closed that down a long time ago. <laughs> you, you learned your lesson on Yeah, that. yeah. But yeah. Bite me once, shame on you. <laughs> if you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.